Rock and Roll Trucker. This is the Rock and Roll Trucker. We're knocking out miles, we're eating good, we're rocking and rolling and having a good time. Come along for a ride. Let's see where we can go today. Good morning. It is Tuesday, April 2nd. I'm in Augusta, Georgia. One of my usual stopping points here at Coca-Cola this morning. Unloading almost 45,000 pounds of beverages here. I haven't been on here in oh, well over a week. I haven't posted anything. I just haven't felt up to it. I just haven't felt interesting. Things have not been real productive the last couple of weeks. So last week especially. So I just didn't see any call to get on here. And uh, but here I am. It's Tuesday. We of course that means we worked yesterday. We worked Monday. You know we had us a good weekend. Aaron and I kicked around and just lived our best life for the weekend. Made it to yesterday and uh, whoo. See, I'm already tired this week. I'm already ready to go home. Yesterday, Monday, April Fool's Day, April 1st there, uh, I got off to a slower start than I wanted, so I ended up running later than I wanted, but uh, we got new, we got a new e-log system installed in our trucks last week, and uh, we did it, mine got done Friday, you know, kind of hastily as I was getting ready to, you know, get home for the weekend and all, and we thought all was good, you know, the truck linked with the system and everything so we thought it did until I left yesterday morning and it just wasn't connected it was it was it was but it wasn't and uh eventually we sorted it out figured out we just plain flat out had the wrong uh cord hooked up to the ECM hooking the little satellite receiver thing to the ECM and it was just the wrong thing so I had to flip back to the shop and we had to salvage a cord and I had to get all that oh I'm already tired y'all had to get all that set up and now we're good to go we've got it all hooked up we've got it all linked up it's all working but that put me an hour or two behind it made me you know a little late to my first appointment which made that last longer than it should and uh but it's all right we're back on track we're here this morning we got where we needed to be when we needed to be here and uh we're off to another week been a little while since I talked to the one and a half, two, two, three of you <laughs> that, that uh, watch these occasionally. But uh, if you're one of those, hi, how you doing? Hope you're having a good day and a good week. And uh, I'm going to finish getting unloaded here. They should be about done. I don't weasel out of here. And uh, productivity may be an issue again this week because we don't have our next load sent to us yet. So I still don't know what I'm doing once I pull out of here. And they just gave me a green light, so I'm done, and uh, got nowhere to go. But let's go figure it out. I'll catch back up with you guys once I have something to do. All right, folks, I'm throwing my shoes back on here. We've got everything taken care of, getting ready to roll again. They finally graced us with a trip. I'm not super crazy about it, but it's not the worst thing I've ever had. I, it's uh, one of our regular customers, and uh. A lot of the loads I've been getting out of there here lately, the rates seem to be down from what they were on some of the other trips coming out of there. I'm not real crazy about it, especially with the fact that I have to deadhead there every single time. And uh, that kind of really cuts the rate back some if you really get down to your nickels, dimes, and pennies there. But we've got a trip. We're running over to Savannah, just like we do nearly every freaking time we do anything. Uh, grabbing one and going to McCalla, Alabama for tomorrow morning. Now, I'm guessing also, if I'm a guessing betting man, I'm betting I'm going to empty out there in the morning, and I bet they send me back to Montgomery to pick up another one coming back over here. We'll see if I'm smart. We'll see if I think I know what I'm talking about. But yeah, we're about to pull out of here. We're just uh, we're getting everything ready to go. Pre-trips all clicked off there. It is uh, about time to roll. Uh, got the shoes strapped on. We got to stop and grab us a snack somewhere though. We haven't had anything to eat or drink this morning. I was lazy. It was I was in a fog this morning when we woke up. Mm, 
luscious, luscious water. Yes, but I still got to get something back here. I already did. Yeah, we'll see. But yes, I know. I'm like distracted in a million directions here. Yeah, but I'm here. I'm awake. I'm alive. And we got a trip. We're about to go pick up some freight. We're going to do some trucking. And I'm going to take you along with me. Let's go. Hey, hey, hey. We're rolling. We got a load. We made it over to Savannah. We're in the backwoods. We took the scenic route in. We got over here. And uh, they had a lot of live loads going on today, but I got luck of the draw and landed one of the uh, dropping hooks. And they actually even kind of set me up for success. They gave me, we had two loads going to the same place for tomorrow. And they figured that one of them should be done, the dropping hook. The other one might not be. So they actually armed me with both sets of numbers, just in case one wasn't ready, I could try the other. They both ended up being ready, so that was actually kind of a nice little backup plan there, because we had a couple other trucks sitting in there getting live loaded while I was in there getting my drop and hook, and they, you know, were there well before I was. We're out. We're on the way to McCalla, 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 Alabama. McCalla, Alabama. Kind of rhymes, rolls off the tongue nice and smooth there. But first, we got to go over here snatch up some fuel at the Parkers and uh, then we got to roll down the street to the Catskill and see where we sit in that department. Yeah, we got to be nice and legal, you know, but we got that lovely little Catskill app, so I don't even have to get out of my truck. If the weights are good, I don't have to get out. Nothing. I love it. It's an easy way to live. Quite fantastic. Yeah. A little warm out over here today. It was sitting, I mean, it's not, it's not summertime yet, but uh, compared to what it's been for the last, you know, for a while, it kind of warmed up quick over here in Savannah today. It was showing 89 when I was sitting on the parking lot over there getting everything organized. So, uh, so I definitely warmed up from the 60s. It's been in, and I can tell the difference. I can tell the difference. I'm gonna get acclimated to the uh, humidity coming back around, that is for sure. Looks uh, smoky out here. There must be something on fire somewhere. I mean, there's a lot of smoke out here in front of me. Well, what's going on? I believe they're supposed to hit some bad weather this evening, though, all over the majority of the southeast, though. So whatever's on fire now might not be on fire later. But I feel like I may end up having my hands full from the weather later this evening. We've got about... Uh, somewhere between six and a half and seven hours to we'll do what we're going to do. We're, uh, it's 20 minutes till two o'clock, which if I go all interstate way and cut through Atlanta, I'm going to hit the worst of the traffic. Possibly the worst of the traffic and the worst of the weather. I don't want to deal with that. So I'm going to get up here past Dublin, Georgia, and get on the back roads and cut across Columbus and all that. I gotta deal with red lights and some stopping and some going, but I won't have to sit in possible weather-induced bad, bad standstill traffic jams around my least favorite place to be stuck in all that. So, easy choice for me. If it, if it was, you know, if all things were equal and it was wide open roads all the way there on both routes, I'd absolutely run up and go the other way, but I know what I'd be getting into today. I'm gonna pass. I'm also gonna get off here. I gotta get up here, check on getting fueled up, and get this thing weighed up. See if I see if my guesstimations with the eyeballing and my suspension gauge come anywhere close and are correct. I've been I've been right dead on or really really close here lately. So let's see if I can keep my uh, streak intact here. Let's see what happens. Yeah. But uh, for now, I'm gonna go I'm gonna go get this done. Back up with you guys on down the road, probably in the state of Georgia. <laughs> That's where I'm at now. That's where I'll be for a while. I might not hold off until we get to Alabama to talk to y'all again. I know y'all have been missing my co my company severely, and uh, you know, I understand. I understand. Yeah. A whole little handful of you have been missing me severely. But I'm gonna go. Don't weep on your dinner plate while you're missing me. I'll be back shortly. Greetings from the backside of a Frito Lay truck there. Yeah. We're on the back roads out here. 
still in Georgia. We made it through the Warner Robins area and all that. Got over here to, uh, I don't even paint any mind to what highway I'm on at this point. Nice, clear four lane out here. I can't remember the name of it at the moment. It points towards Columbus, Georgia. That's all I know. That's the, that's the next destination of note will be Columbus, Georgia there. Yeah, cruising right along. I guess we're either right in a direct route of a uh, Frito-Lay plant or right near one because there wasn't one going that direction too. They're everywhere. They're everywhere. We're uh, having a pretty simple drive so far. I mean, the load is heavy. Almost everything we carry all the time is heavy. We usually end up with a lot of beverages and stuff like that. And I'm always somewhere between 42 and 45,000 pounds, probably probably three and a half to four out of every five loads I'm in that neighborhood. So with a little back car that could, it's a nice little efficient motor, but it don't get me anywhere real, real quick most of the time. So, but we're, we're back here on these, you know, secondary highways here, and the little red lights, stop signs, everything else too, going you know, through town. So that, uh, slows the ball game down a little bit too, but we're headed towards a place that's got first come, first serve tomorrow, starting at like 7 a.m. I think, and uh, we get an hour back going into central time there, and uh, they don't have me noted down until 8 o'clock, which from what I understand it's first come, first serve though, so it don't really matter, but uh, so I don't really have to run late tonight, I do not have to. If I went all the way to their front door, I'd be there by somewhere between 8.15 and 8.30 and uh, getting that hour back for central time and everything. I've got a little squish time where I can stop a little short if I find a good parking space somewhere. So that's pretty good, pretty good. I don't know what I'm doing yet after I, after I dump this one, but I suspect I'll probably be running back down into Montgomery. That's my guess. I have a feeling I might be going to Montgomery and backtracking right where I just came from, back to Augusta, and then probably, I'm guessing, maybe back to Savannah to pick something up heading towards home Friday. That's that's what I would guess, if freight is holding up and there's nothing stupid. Here. That's always possible, too. of Alabama. I'm in a Walmart parking lot in uh, Montgomery, Alabama. Seems to trucker pets. Most everybody argues on there like they always do. There's signs here like they are at all Walmarts that say no truck parking. But as we know, that doesn't necessarily, it isn't always true at all Walmarts. And a lot of people say you can park at this one and I got here and it was very accurate to the description. Couple of trucks here, couple of trucks across the street at the movie theater. So I'm giving it a go, especially since uh, there's uh, weather on the way. I'm kind of sitting here right now, 
waiting on the, you see people's headlights going across my face. I don't have my curtains pulled yet, but warming me. I have ran in there to give me some supplies before the rain started and stuff, and uh, warming me some food up right now. I'm just kind of sitting and watching and waiting for to see what kind of weather rolls in. There's a pretty big, severe band of weather rolling all the way across the southeast tonight, and uh, some of it will most likely hit over here. I don't know how severe or if it's going to break up or how late it's going to be or whatever, but ran in and got me some extra water and some food, you know, for this evening and tomorrow morning and all, and uh, it should all be gone by the time I get up in the morning, but we are here to Walmart. It's uh, kind of, it's technically Montgomery, but kind of outside. It's a pretty nice Walmart, not too bad. Don't seem like a place that there's going to be any any uh, bothersome things going on and uh, I'm a little less than two hours away from where I got to be tomorrow there's not really I think you could maybe possibly street park at that place out there but I don't know that for a fact this is my first time going in so I don't know yet and I don't want to trust that information without going and seeing it for the first time so I don't know what my next trip is after that and if it's coming back to Montgomery I'm not gonna be far away anyway uh, so, we just went ahead and stopped. Had a long, long day yesterday. Had a long weekend. Had a reasonably long day today. Just ready to chill out. We made it. Yeah, I'm getting back in the swing of things. I'm trying to get some video here. Talk to y'all. You know, kind of hadn't been on here hardly at all recently and none last week. But here we be. Living the same old life that yeah, all the West truck drivers do. Always in search of a good parking space with an accommodating area around us and uh you know i found another walmart that hopefully holds up and uh i like parking at walmart as much as possible you know tomorrow i want to find somewhere else so i can catch a shower and everything and uh get myself all cleaned up but for today this will do i needed some supplies and supplies i got even got me some new shorts shorts wearing season yeah saw some on sale in there that i like we'll see I bought them in my size. I bought them in my waist size, but I bought some at another Walmart last year and uh, bought them in my waist size. And uh, I bought them in the same waist size that everything else I own is in. Every pair of pants I have, every pair of shorts I have in that size fit me. And I bought these and they were like sized, like at least one size, if not two sizes, smaller than what they should be. So I don't trust anything anymore. But I didn't have time to go to the fitting room and all that stuff. Who's got time for that? If they don't fit, we'll just bring them back. Yeah. I think they'll fit, though. They seem proper. But yeah. That's terribly uninteresting to all of you. Probably. But it's what my day is. I don't... You know, I gotta have something to talk about. I gotta feel like I had some sort of win. I got a good deal on some shorts, so... Well, there we go. But I'm gonna get my uh, food out of the microwave. I'm gonna eat. And I'm gonna go to bed. Hopefully not get run out of this parking lot. In the rain. In the weather. No bueno. But, uh, I don't want to talk about any music right now. Because we're just kind of getting back in the swing of things. Recording. And I just didn't really listen to anything with the intentions of talking about it today. So I don't really have anything prepared to talk about in that department. So uh, we'll get that one on the next one. Just know we're back on video. We're still out here trucking. Still living amongst all of you. Still keeping America moving what I do. That's what I'm going to be doing for a while. But I'm going to go. I bid you all good night. If it's not night time when you're watching this, have a good morning or a good afternoon, good evening. You know, whatever, whatever time it is, wherever you're at, have a good one of those. And uh, Spread some positivity wherever you can. And if you can't be good, be good at it, whatever that may be. And I'll see you all on the next one.